efforts to find friendship is dealt a cruel blow by her own daughter in Shortland Street. Would you like another coffee? No, I've got to get back to work. Oh, yeah, sure. Why don't we meet up for a drink or dinner? If you've got the time. I'm free tonight, actually. People can't take me for what I am and they're not worth knowing. I bet you got lots of friends. Nice to make a new one. You know each other? Yeah. Kathy's doing the article on me I told you about. You're like my husband. If you mean, am I gay? Yes. Wait. Please, let us explain. To do what? Make excuses for your disgusting behaviour? There are none. You think that was disgusting? You should hear what Mum says to us. Honestly, she is the biggest homophobe. If she wasn't before, she certainly will be now. I don't blame her. Knowing you two is enough to put me off. Come on, we were just trying to make you a You humiliated point. your own mother and took me along for the ride. I've never been so embarrassed. You? I was having a perfectly lovely dinner with a friend. Last thing I expected was to be hijacked by the lunatic fringe. Okay, I'm sorry, so you don't believe in grabbing the chance to teach our bigots new lessons? Um, that's not what I've heard. I don't believe in cruelty for the pleasure of it. And if you think for one second you've helped the cause, you think again. You know, tonight was supposed to be perfect and I was going to impress you. Uh, I was definitely impressed. That much smoke without a fire? Mm, not easy. Oh, don't. I feel <laughs> stupid enough already. Oh, you shouldn't. You're too beautiful to feel anything except impossibly beautiful. Is that the best you can do? Well, I'm sorry, but when it comes to the old cheesy line thing, I'm not actually that good. Well, that's good because that means that you don't use them on every girl that you meet. Incredible, is it, that we met? Well, I work at the front desk. It would have been your... Yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, I could have been placed at Greenbridge, North City, Central. Well, you were meant to come to Shopping Street. Yeah, obviously. At this rate, I could be here all night. Yeah. Which would be a huge mistake because, like I said, I've got my big assessment in the morning. You'll fly through. Yeah, well, I wish I had your confidence. Anyway, I better get going, do some revision before the morning. Well, I could help you. Yeah, right. So, um, I'll see you tomorrow then. You know where to find me. Thanks for a great night. I know it's tragically early, but I bought pastries. Oh, in that case, you're in. <laughs> hey, Harry. You sure you got time? Mm, these are still warm. I have so got time. I think we were up before the baker. We were definitely up before the ducks. We've already been to the park. Are you kidding? Nope, that's the zoo later on today. Oh, man, whatever it is three-year-olds are on, I want some. Yeah, me too. I'm stuffed. So, when is Chris back? Yeah. Uh, next week, I hope. Never missed him so much. As a babysitter. And everything. <laughs> Damn it, I've gone and fallen in love with my own husband. Mm, that was my plan. I never really got the chance, though, did I? Andrew's loss. <laughs> now... It's Hamish. My friend Hamish. Oh, you can soon change that. He's so hot for you. No, he's not. He is, so when are you going to do something about it? Tony, how many times do I have to tell you? Platonic, strictly. Ah, uh, you're talking about Hamish. No. No, we're talking about Baxter. How did it go last night? Did he stay over? We are taking it slow, thank you very much. But he's so great, he's funny, thoughtful, sexy. Has he got an older brother? Tony, for you, doofus. <laughs> I can take care of my own love life, thank you very much. Really? Really? Shut up, I can. Uh, you have to have one before you can take care of it. There's no rush. You do not have a monopoly on slow, Claire. Look, but she does have an actual boyfriend. Slight advantage. You're not eating. Something I should know. I'm not hungry. Yvonne, what's wrong? 
I'm a stupid idiot. But then I suppose you already know that. My daughter certainly does. Tanya? Maya. I bet she's still laughing. Her and Jay. Why? What happened? Oh, you're going to think I am so naive, so pathetically gullible. You know how lonely I've been since I came to Ferndale. I've made no secret of it. You were reasonably good about it. But not Maya. She used it to publicly humiliate me. I would never have dreamed that she would do that, Judy. She engineered for me to meet this woman. Same age, similar interests, on her own. We were having dinner together last night at Coltrane. Jay was there. Maya turned up. Kathy called her over. Kathy Zimmerman. It's a name I'll not forget. Me either. I met her. She was a patient. So you know that she's gay, that she's Maya's heroine? Oh, yes. Well, I had no idea. Oh, silly girl. She'd been never backwards to impress that woman. Well, she wants to impress her, but couldn't give a fig about her own mother. That's an eye opener, I can tell you. I should be ashamed of herself. She's proud. Out and proud, isn't that what they call it? I can't face her, Judy. She's my daughter and I love her. But if that's how she treats me, I think I should just get right out of her way. Meaning what? I should do what Ian's been saying. Go back to where I belong and let the young ones get on with their lives. You don't mean that. Maya's done me in this time. She really has. Got a shot on she? Yes, she is. Just a minute, please. It's for you, Kathy Zimmerman. Tell her I'll call her back. She says that she'll call you back. Okay, bye. So anyway, I told him that I'm never going to cook again, not unless it involves a microwave. Rosters for next week. They need photocopying and delivering. He should know the drill by now. Fine, I hope you had a lovely evening too. Actually, I didn't. Hey, I saw this in my garden this morning and thought of you. Really? No, actually, I was thinking about you way before that. I haven't stopped. I've been thinking about you too. Last night was so much fun. Yeah, it was. But hey, uh, I can't talk now. I've got to go to the dreaded assessment. I'll catch you up later on. Sure will. i got to get some water for this. Not until you've done the copying. Oh, don't be such a grouchy Vaughn. Isn't Baxter such a honey? Seems to be. But I wouldn't take anything for granted. Excuse me. I thought that you'd be happy that I've ditched the internet search for a guy. I found the real live thing. Except real live people shouldn't be taken at face value. You never know what's lurking under the surface. Not until they decide to rub your nose in it. I'm not even going to ask. 